Let me ask Laura about Judge Eileen Cannon, because I think when people saw that she was assigned to this case, there were some raised eyebrows. And the, the raised eyebrows shouldn't come from the simple fact that she was appointed by Donald Trump. That's are, not the reason. There are plenty of <laughs> judges that we have seen uh, that have had adverse rulings against the former president in any number of different subjects and were able to be fair-minded. The issue here is she has past experience on this very issue uh, as it relates to the search warrant that the FBI FBI executed last year, and she made a number of con con controversial rulings, I think it's fair to say. She got overturned uh, uh, pretty fiercely pretty by the 11th Circuit. By the 11th Circuit, um, and she tried to appoint a special master. None of that worked out. Um, remains to be seen whether she'll stay on this case. The Justice Department could try to get her off, although maybe that might not go over so well. Um, in the initial matter, though, we should mention that it would go to a magistrate judge. So the judge who hears it on Tuesday when he comes in for his his arraignment, his first appearance, he'll enter a plea. That will be in front of a different judge. Is that Reinhardt? Yes, exactly. And so uh, the uh, Judge Cannon would be overseeing the larger issues, which are far more substantive in terms of pretrial motions. What does the protective order look like in terms of what discovery is uh, exchanged but between the parties? pretrial motions are going to include motion to dismiss. Correct. And that's why, that's why if she does stay on the case, seeing how she treats those could be important.